In this video, I'm going to cover how to bowl lather. So I'm going to assume that you already have your shaving soap or cream loaded into your brush. And then you take the bowl you're going to lather in. I fill it up with hot water, then just empty it out. And that leaves some residual wetness behind in the bowl. And I find that I get good results with that. And I also like having a bowl that has steep, even vertical walls, if you can find one. This bowl works great for me. This is just a soup bowl that we had sitting around. And this one is great. So anyway, I've got the residual wetness in the bowl. I've got my shaving brush loaded up with a shaving soap. And then you're just going to want to start just doing circular motions in the bowl. So then after a little while, after you've been swirling this around in here a few times, I go clockwise, counterclockwise, a few things. You're going to see it start getting like little peaks on it like this. And this really dense lather is going to erupt from your brush all of a sudden. So you can see how much you want. You can keep going. As, as you do this more and more, the lather gets better and better because you're working out. Well, you're creating smaller and smaller bubbles in the lather as you're doing this. So it just becomes denser and a little creamier as you keep doing this. So you're also going to be wanting to look at your lather, and there's huge variation between soaps and creams and different brands. But you can add in more water if you want to. You're just going to have to experiment with your soap or cream you have, and your brush, and your bowl. But if you need to add in more water, I just get some on my fingertips and just drip it in. And then you can keep going. So each soap and cream has its own amount of water like. Some are very thirsty, need a lot of water. Some want a very dry lather. So you can see here, I just add in more water, and this just got even better, this lather. Look at that. So this experiment, you'll see, I mean, if you're using a good quality soap or cream, it's going to probably not be too big of a problem for you. Um, but anyway, this is how I bowl lather. Then you have this, you can grab some of it, and it's worked into your brush here. Then you're just going to apply it directly to your face. So after you bowl lather, you have your nice lather here on your shave brush and you need to apply it to your face. I'm assuming that you're already getting out of the shower so your facial hair is nice and hydrated. I like applying a little bit of extra water to my face. Make sure everything's still nice and hydrated after my shower. And then you just apply it to your face. What I do is I first cover each quadrant. This helps cover up your facial hair and protect it helps lock in that moisture while you're spending the time to apply the lather to your face. So I kind of just go over each area, just laying some down there. Then I go over each quadrant separately in circular motions. These are the four quadrants. One, two, three, four. So at least the way I count them. And I do circular motions and work in the lather. And you really want to spend the time to work in the lather really nicely onto your face and in between hairs. This is also helping clean your face. You really you know, want to spend the time doing this. This is going to be a worthy investment to get a good shave. So I go into each quadrant. I go over here. It's hard to do circular motions on your chin, so I just kind of go back and forth. Circular motions here. Circular motions here. Then I go back and I just kind of paint. Uh, you're going to want to spend more time than I'm spending here. I spend about a minute normally working it in. Then you just kind of, I paint over it like this, just make it nice and even. And then I need to get my mustache area. You can kind of grasp your brush and press it down flat to get this area. That's one way that I find useful. Or else I just kind of open my mouth and paint down. And that works well for me. So there you go. It's a nice bowl lather transferred over to your face. And then I just take my brush and set it down so it's ready to go for the uh, for a second lather and reapplication. And I'm just feeling here. It's a great lather, really nice, and you're ready to shave. All right, thanks for watching.